it's a lot of women that's out here doing some crazy stuff. Now, I wasn't familiar of how bad it gets inside of Congress, but I am now becoming more familiar with what's happening out in these streets. Uh, over the past week slash weekend, uh, a couple of women went viral. A couple of women went viral inside of Congress. Let me fill you, you guys in on what's happening out here in these streets, because the streets is not only happening out in the streets itself, but it's also happening in your legislative branches. Check it out. Do you, do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about uh, just AG. A, uh, I don't I think you know what you're here for. Well, you the one talking about. I, guess I, I think your fake eyelashes little. are messing up. No, what ain't nothing. Right. Hold on, hold on. Listen. <laughs> I just went ahead and took a sip of water on that one. I said, let me just go ahead and take a sip of water on that one. Seriously. Somebody said, Lord, sadly, the liberal chick started it. Well, here's the thing, A. Dunn. Here's the thing, bro. It doesn't matter who starts it. And I had to explain this to somebody over the weekend. I said, it doesn't matter who starts it. The only thing that matters is whether or not you still operating in a, in a professional capacity. If somebody, shout out to Kay Cooper, I'm definitely going to read that super chat shortly. If somebody says something negative about you in a professional setting, let's say you at your job, right? Let's say you in corporate America and somebody goes low and they say some wild stuff. Why would I go low with them in order to embarrass myself? in the same capacity that they embarrass themselves when they're talking this wild stuff. Don't y'all realize that y'all are supposed to be a representation of the country? Y'all the ones that determine the laws of the land, the budgets. You determine what goes over to Israel, Ukraine, Taiwan. These are, these are your elected leaders, and, I, and I'm almost like, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting to listen to this. She called the chick now. She very well may have butterfly eyelashes, so that, that goes without saying. But they supposed to leave that to us. We supposed to be out here doing the mud slinging. It's not supposed to be them. It ain't supposed to be them that's doing the mud slinging. Okay, so let's see what happens after that. Order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath Would even you order. Order. Now the chair recognizes Ms. Green for four minutes and 21 seconds. Mr. Chair, point of order. Who's... who's it's me. Ms. Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling, if someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body, that would. Let me take another sip of water. When they go low, you go lower. And so they throw an insult and they make themselves look bad and they embarrass themselves. And then you go lower. And yes, AOC was in the middle of it, calling people baby girl and all of this other stuff. So now you call her a beach blonde, bad built by now. I can't disagree with either Barb. One of them got butterfly eyelashes. One of them is a beach blonde, bad built. Whatever, Bad Girls Club. <laughs> but that's not the point. The point is, is that we can all see that she's a beach blonde, bad built, whatever. We all can see that. We don't need you to point it out because then you make yourself look like a fool because you're supposed to be an elected representative that is showing class. And how can we then say, hey, our children are supposed to aspire to be like you when you out here responding negatively when she already embarrassed herself you should have let her fall on that sword. But instead, now you calling her a beach blonde, bad built body and you built that up because you knew that you wanted to get that off. And so you interrupted Mr. Comer over here in order to try to make her look bad. And it's like, ugh, are these really our leaders? Seriously? Would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A uh, uh, what now? <laughs> <laughs> and see, he, he, he out here, he trolling, 
And so he actually a participant in the foolishness too. And it all just looked like circus circus. It all is just one big clown show. So he fooling by asking her to repeat it, even though he know what he said. I do the same thing on Monday nights. Sometimes I act like I don't hear because the joke be so good. And I'll be like, hey, what did you say it was out? And then 2K say something crazy again. And I'm like, oh, man, this dude is crazy. But I really know what he said the first time. I just wanted him to repeat it because it was really, really funny. And so he out here trolling, acting like he don't understand what's going on. But he knows exactly what's going on. And so he going to ask her to repeat herself. So he's now complicit in the foolishness instead of being above it and being professional. That would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A, a what now? <laughs> Chairman, I'm I, make a, I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's I'm a on. part I'm of it. trying to find clarification on what quality. Chairman, I, I motion to strike. Look, that homeboy over there on the left, he laughing because he know what a bad, built, bleach, blind, bad chick <laughs> is looking like. And he also is aware of what butterfly. Yo, hold on, hold on. Can we, can we stop this for one second? And get some clarification. I personally believe that I was the one. Now, I could be wrong. And I'm always open to the possibility that I'm wrong. I had never seen anybody, not one person. Now, I know I'm not special. I know the world don't necessarily watch me. I personally believe I came up with butterfly eyelashes. I had never in my life. Now, I may have traveled like a game of telephone to this person, to this person. I had never personally in my life. Heard anybody ever say butterfly eyelashes until I started addressing these hyenas. And so I can't imagine at e even a little bit that they came up with this on their own inside of Congress. I don't know who they watching. Of course, I could be wrong. Thank you to the Wealth Building Journey. I'm going to be reading that shortly. But I believe that I came up with that. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But again, all of these people are complicit in the foolishness. Words. Hear what you just said. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do this. Look, you guys earlier literally just. Said I, oh, you just. You just, you just voted to do it. I'm trying to get clarification. Look at. Calm down. Calm down. No, no, no. Like, I already know y'all was gonna say that. That was before you. You wasn't the first one. No, Antonis. Nah, no matter what I say, listen. All of my isms is out here in these streets. I hear people saying egregious. I hear people saying. Every single word that I say on a regular basis, I see it on everybody and everybody podcast be stealing. But it always be out before me. OK. All right. I get it. Everybody made it up before me. Cool. No, because this I is what y'all do. So I'm trying hey, to get Ms. your Crockett, opinion. You're not so recognized. Like, Ms. Crockett. I can't hear you with your yelling. You don't want to calm hyenas. down. No. You please calm don't down. tell me to calm down. Calm down. Because y'all talk calm noise. Down. And then you you're can't take control. it. You're out of control. Because if I, Look, come, Chairman, if I come, come and talk shit about, about her, y'all going to have a problem. Chairman, wait, 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 wait. I didn't see this part. So they over there cussing inside of the Congress? She said if I talk S about her, is this the person that's supposed to be? Is this the person that is supposed to be representing us? Listen, let's get back on track, y'all. I know it's all fun and games. Listen to how these women are talking to each other inside of Congress. Are y'all seeing this? Listen to how these people are talking to each other inside of the same building that they help vote on and make your laws in. They talking crazy. These are some wild hyenas, bro. Order. All right, chair. Chair, okay, you're, yeah. you're order. Chair now recognizes Miss Green for, for four minutes and 21 seconds. Four minutes. Let Miss Green talk, and then you all can, I'll recognize. But I, I moved to side. strike her words for a second time based on her second set of personal remarks what attacking another mean? member. Who? Chairman Comer, because you all cannot see an amendment at to the apply the rules of the committee. Stop. We have to do this every time. Okay. Hey, I, I'm, I'm recognized. Look, I'm recognized. Order, I'm going to go order, ahead and start uh, talking. Look, I, I know. I know. This look, is so hood. I don't know if you've noticed it. I have two hearing aids. I'm very deaf. I'm not understanding. Everybody's yelling. I'm doing the best I can. Can we not recognize Ms. Green and let we her We cannot get? because of the rules of the committee, Mr. Chair. That is uh, that is what I'm trying to communicate in the present moment. We have a mo. Okay, what's the motion? What's the, the motion? The motion is to strike the gentlelady's words for the second set of remarks, not the first. 
the second she that apply no to idea. me. She has no idea. I think, Mr. Chairman, I'm the only the one words, recognized words, right now. The, the, we objected at the time. The, the, will, the, the, will the member state the words she wishes yes. struck? She told me or she, she asserted that I was not intelligent. These are the specific words. Like, we can have it read uh, by the clerk. It, uh, it was made immediately. And it was, it was made, made immediately. immediately. I, I am not I, moving I now. I don't think it was I am not moving now. It was made now. immediately both by the gentleman and by me. Mr. Chair, yes, it was made immediately. It was made immediately both by the sheep water yes. She said, you don't have the intelligence to talk to me, is what she said. <laughs> the chair recognizes Ms. Green for four minutes and 21 seconds. Mr. This is all, this is all crap. This is all trash. But then, uh, she then goes on CNN to, to, I guess, double down on what it is that she said. I haven't seen this part. Tonight, Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett is not backing down, calling her Republican colleague Marjorie Taylor Greene racist after a contentious committee. Oh, now Lincoln we got it. Right okay, y'all was just hood. Now everybody is racist. It always comes back down to racist. Listen, listen, black people. I love everybody. I rock with everybody. I am not a part of the equity and inclusion, diversity, equity, and inclusion committee. We got to stop doing that, bro. Whenever somebody throw a, a joke and they say that you got butterfly eyelashes and then you throw back and say that they bad, Bill, listen, you can't just by default say that somebody is racist just because you don't necessarily agree with them. I know you would, Quentin. I'm going to read that super chat shortly. Listen, y'all got to stop doing that. Everything is not racist just because they called you out. Maybe it was ghetto. Maybe it was disrespectful. Maybe it was inappropriate. Maybe it was hood. Maybe it was whatever. Y'all gotta stop saying everything is racist just because it just came from somebody that don't look like you. That's not racist. Stop, bro. It's, it's over. It's done. We really need to retire that in 2024. Everything is not racist just because they called you out and they may have disrespected you. It may have been disrespectful, but it, everything is not racist just because you're a black girl. Jesus. Oversight markup last night was derailed for nearly an hour after Green mocked Crockett. You can see for yourself. We've seen all that. I'm just curious. Talking I'm trying to get okay. Start attacks on OC isn't intelligent. Jasmine Crockett has fake eyelashes. These aren't attacks on personalities. These are just facts. Congresswoman, thanks for being here. First of all, I, I wonder, in that moment in the hearing room, why did you react the way that you did to the comment that Marjorie Taylor Greene made about you? So I want to clarify that I actually did not react instantaneously. Um, I actually was trying to allow the process to work. So you heard from AOC, who is our vice ranking member, and you heard from Jamie Raskin, who's our ranker, as we attempted to go through the process. And there was an agreement, and of course, Marjorie had to be Marjorie, and she refused to actually apologize. Therefore, I needed clarification as to why the chairman refused to actually take her words down, which meant that she would be kicked out of the committee room for the rest of the hearing, which would have been appropriate. So instead, you called her bad, Bill, whatever, right? Okay, I got it. You was right. She was right. All the way up until she started participating in the, in the S storm herself. <sighs> now, the part that I think really kind of, frankly, caught the internet afire is when you described Green in this request for clarification as a bleached, <laughs> blonde, bad-built, butch body, which I had to look at my notes to read. Um, any regrets about that kind of language, especially given that you were trying to make a point, uh, frankly, about decorum in the hearing room? That's a phenomenal question. I got to give CNN some credit for that one. I have no regrets, and I'll tell you why. Because Marjorie Taylor Greene is the type of person that if you give her an inch, she'll take a mile. And the fact that they continue to allow her to break the rules of decorum over and over and over, whether it's the State of the Union that the president is delivering and she's wearing a MAGA hat or otherwise, the reason that she didn't have committee assignments before was because she did not know how to conduct herself as a member of Congress. And so if I just sit there 
and say, oh, well, Marjorie said it about me. What's to stop her to continue to do it again and again? And at the end of the day, I was elected as a representative of Congress, but that doesn't mean that I'm supposed to be somebody's doormat. But Michelle Obama famously... No class. No class. ...said, when they go low, we go high. Are, are they, those days basically over? Um, I don't know that we can even call this a low. I mean, she goes to hell, and then I do my best to remind her as to why she should not cross me. So one of your colleagues, Jamie Raskin, actually suggested that some members might have been drinking. Others have said that as well, so making that suggestion. That's a pretty serious allegation. Do you think that that played a factor here? I think with Marjorie Taylor Greene, it doesn't require alcohol for her to be unhinged. I'll be perfectly honest. I don't know. I don't have any facts to that. So, you know, I won't say and I won't participate in rumors when I don't have any facts behind it. So you also uh, called Green racist for what she said about you. Why is that? Yeah. Because as I've received... Uh-oh. Whenever they look up and to the side, when they look up and to the side, you know they trying to think. Look. Why is that? Yeah. Because as I... So you don't really feel that way. You just leaning into it because you know that it's a good talking point. You know what the worst part about this whole situation is that when I see this and I observe this and I see these women acting like literal children and then one of them throw some mud and another one go and get some more mud and all of this stuff, right? When I listen to these women acting like literal children and she's over there, you know, trying to figure out some words as to why she said what she said, it's disgusting because... These are supposed to be the examples for the people that come, come after them. And so you can't just lean into the whole racist trope because you don't like somebody or they're disrespecting you. It's not right for them to disrespect you, but it's not racist. We got to get away from the foolishness. It's so stupid. Let me let her, let me hear her answer first before I just go on received so many amazing compliments from MAGA America um, throughout my time in Congress, a lot of times when I would go viral, instead of them trying go to address viral. the things that I laid out in a very factual way, what they would try to do is say, oh, look at her hair, or look at her nails, or look at her lashes, and they would all then associate anything that I do as a form of beautification with being quote-unquote ghetto. And so, to me, she was just basically repeating the nonsense that MAGA World is constantly putting out there because I am not the only woman in Congress that wears lashes. Um, and there are women on her side of the aisle that wear lashes as well, as well as hair extensions. But she's... ...never felt like that was a dig that she needed to take at anyone, except for me a black woman who sits on the committee. And then, of course, she went after AOC and called her unintelligent, a brown woman that sits on the committee. Hmm. Uh, CNN actually asked her for comment. Um, and this is a statement that we received. She said, the only member that brought up any reference to color was Congresswoman Crockett. She's putting that on you. I, I brought it up when, when we were on committee, it definitely did not come up. When I was asked about whether or not I felt like she was being racist, I told the truth, which was absolutely yes. But ultimately, in committee, that was not part of the conversation whatsoever. I don't think that this interview went the way that she thought that it was going to go, considering that CNN tends to be a more liberal-leaning uh, publication. But this woman right here, I'm not sure who her name is, the one over there in the white with the long hair, uh, she absolutely masterfully asked these questions and put her on the spot. And it made her look even dumber because when you actually start to ask them why they or substantiate why they feel the way they feel, especially when it comes to racism, uh, they all start to look stupid and they all easily lean into that trope in order to try to justify why they can say what they want to say in retaliation. Uh, so what the woman said, that was absolutely wrong and disrespectful and it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because these are the people that are our leaders inside of Congress and they are making our laws and we continue to vote them in. And you know what the worst part about it is, is that when this was sent to me over the weekend, uh, I seen so many women, women in particular, I didn't see any men. And when I go into the comments, I seen so many women 
justifying this ghetto, stupid behavior. 